Hey guys, on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys a list of must-have plugins for your VS Code if you're doing Laravel development. A lot of you guys ask me, hey, how do you get these auto completions? For example, uh, you know, how do you get the auto imports, things like that? Well, on today's video, I'm going to show you guys the list of plugins that you need to have to at least get all these base features. And of course, if you like, you can add more plugins on top of them. So let's get right into the video. So the first plugin I recommend you guys install is called PHP IntelliFence. It's actually a PHP plugin, not necessarily a Laravel one. But you need to make sure you install that so you get all the required PHP stuff. So it gives you uh, auto completion, go to, it gives you auto imports, all the things you need, even the PHP, obviously syntax, auto recommendation, all of those things are automatically added with this plugin. So it's a must have and also does syntax highlighting. So for example, the thing I showed you guys at the beginning for the auto suggestion and auto imports, all of those are handled by php intellifence as well as go to so for example if you install this plugin if you're on windows you can hold control or if you're on mac uh, i'm on mac you can hold uh, command and as you can see there is an underline under this with pagination it allows it to basically go ahead and view that file okay so it, ha it has a lot of built-in features and if you're doing a lot of development this is a must you need to have at least one php plugin before you install any laudable related plugins now there is an alternative to this plugin if you guys don't like php intellifence and it's called PHP All-in-One. So it's this plugin. I actually have both of them installed. Now, some features kind of, they do the exact same thing. So you need to customize it a little bit. For example, for the PHP formatter. So these plugins also format your files. So if I save over here, as you guys can see, it automatically formatted it. So you do need to customize which formatter you want to use, which is very easy to do. But uh, this is also an alternative plugin that you can install, okay? So it's up to you which one you want to pick. Uh, personally, I always use PHP IntelliFence but PHP All-in-One is also great. And I, as you can see, I have both of them installed on my system and I haven't had any issues with that. So I do recommend at least you install one PHP plugin on your system. Next up, we have a lot of Blade snippets. If you're using Blade files, you need to have at least a plugin for syntax highlighting as well as formatting. This plugin does all of them in one. So it gives you, let me show you guys the list of features. It gives you syntax highlighting, uh, Blade snippets. So basically auto completion as well as formatting. It also works with Emmet, which is very nice if you guys uh, write a lot of HTML. So a really good plugin to have. And for example, let me show you guys for the auto completion. If you just type in one of the blade directives, it just adds it to you guys so you can quickly write it. And of course it does the formatting as well as the syntax highlighting just like this, as you can see. So a very useful plugin to have. And there are other options available on the VS Code market. However, this is the best one I have personally used. Even though I have a couple of others installed, this one has everything in one. So I do recommend you guys at least give it a try. All right, next up, we have a Laudable extension pack. So this is a collection of useful VS Code plugins for Laudable development. Now, I already covered Laudable Blade snippets because I think it's a must-have plugin. However, there are a few other plugins uh, in this pack that I think are useful to have, but you don't necessarily need to install them. So such as Laudable Snippets, Laudable Go to View, Laudable Extra IntelliSense, and .env. So Laudable Snippets just gives you auto completion for Laudable stuff. A Go to View allows you to view, jump to your view files from your controller. So if, for example, in this case, I'm inside the home controller. If I want to access the view file, I can hover over it and it tells you follow link, do command click. If you're on Windows, is control click. So I can just press that and it will automatically open the view file for me. It's not an overly necessary pl uh, plugin to have, but it's nice to have if you guys want it. So you can definitely give it a shot. And then there are a couple of more plugins that I do recommend you guys at least take a look at them. Now you can install the entire pack. I personally have installed these one by one instead of installing the entire pack. For example, I, I don't use a lot of artisan or a go to components or create view or a lot of jump controller. So these are the plugins I don't use. And I think you guys probably don't need them as well. But everything from lot of a blade uh, wrapper all the way to the top i do recommend you guys install give it a shot and if you don't like them you can obviously quickly install them there is no harm in that but it's a good starting point for a lot of all development next up i recommend you guys also install a tailwind css plugin so you can get a syntax highlighting as well as auto completion so the best plugin i have used is tailwind css intellisense and it will give you syntax highlighting auto completion it also lets you see the underlying CSS code for all these classes or utility classes. For example, for item center, you can see it's align items center. And it also gives you uh, auto completion. For example, I can do something like this and it gives me 
all the available classes. So it's a really useful plugin if you use Tailwind CSS. And even if you don't use Tailwind CSS yourself, a lot of uh, the laudable starter kits such as Breeze or Jetstream use this, a lot of packages use uh, Tailwind CSS. So you probably will eventually end up using it. So at least it's good to have a plugin for that reason. All right, guys, that's the list. So I try to keep it simple and only give you guys the must have plugins, especially the PHP one, as well as the Laravel uh, Blade plugin. I think those two, you should have them if you want to have a smooth uh, development experience with Laravel. Of course, uh, there are more plugins you could install that I did not cover. These are more sp framework specific. For example, if you use Alpine.js, there is a plugin called Alpine IntelliSense. I didn't really cover it in the video because not everyone uses Alpine.js. So these are options you can install. For example, if you use PEST, maybe you can install a PEST plugin. Uh, there is one for Livewire as well. It's called, I believe, Livewire Language Support. Yeah, this one. So you can definitely go ahead and install these as well. Uh, I'm just gonna giving them an honorable mention at the end of the video. But yeah, I think the ones I mentioned is kind of the bare minimum you need for a lot of all development. And then you can add extra ones if you want for all these extra plugins or these uh, frameworks. So if you guys are interested, maybe I can make a video for a live wire or Alpine.js. But again, these two that I mentioned are really good. We can definitely give them a try. Of course, if you do Vue.js development, there is one for called Vitor. If I'm not uh, mistaken that you can install, there is also one by the Vue team as well called view language support so it's by the official team you can go ahead and install both those two plugins as well but not everyone in the lot of our community uses Vue.js, so i don't think it's very important uh, last but not least guys i will have the list of all the plugins as well as a link to the website in the description so you guys can go ahead and quickly check them out and install the ones you want so that's it guys for today's episode uh, if you learned something new or you enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified of my latest Laravel videos. And I see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.